Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to subset and replace strings using the string R library in R. So we're going to start by loading the tidyverse that includes string R. Again, we're going to be working with some Reddit post data from the machine learning subreddit for our text data for this lesson. So we'll start by showing how to get a subset of a string based on the position of the substring. So for instance, we could extract the first 100 characters of a string using this function. That's what we're doing here. We're saying sub underscore stir. We're going to look at the first post in this data set. We're starting at the first character and ending at the 100th character that will extract off the first 100 characters. You can also use the word function to, instead of extracting based on character position, extract based on words. So in this case, we're going to extract from the same post. We're gonna start with the first word and end with at the 10th word. And by default, it's extracting words based on spaces being between things. So that's what the separator is going to be. So those are the first 10 words of this post. And we can also extract out the posts that contain a certain pattern. We actually showed how to do this in one of the earlier lessons using indexing, but this function will do it directly without having to first find the index values and then use those to extract the data. So with stir underscore subset, we can look at, for instance, the first 100 posts, and this will give us back any strings that have a match of this pattern. So the any posts that have the word deep in it will be returned by this. And here they are. Now you can also use the stir sub function to replace a substring with a new string based on the index positions that you pass in. So for instance, before we used this construction to extract the first 100 characters in the first post. But if we use the same construction and then do an assignment, we are basically saying, take those first 100 characters in the post and then replace them with this other character string. So here we're stripping off those first 100 characters and we're going to replace it with this, which is the first 100 characters again, but turned into uppercase by the stir to upper function. And then we're just going to print the result. So we'll see the same first post, except the first 100 characters will all have been converted to uppercase by this. So in this example, we did replacement by the substring position. So we specified exactly where we wanted to start and where we wanted to end. But you can also do replacement using matching. So to do that, you can use stir underscore replace. And then you can replace the first match of a given pattern. So here we're going to check the first post again. And we're going to look for either deep all in lowercase or deep all in uppercase and then we're going to specify what we want to replace it with so we're saying if we find that replace that term with this and we're replacing deep with multi-layer because a deep learning is essentially shorthand for multi-layer neural networks so we'll run that we can see that the all capital deep that we had here was replaced with multi-layer but later on in the string, the term deep occurred again, and that one has not been converted. That's because we the normal stir replace will only replace that first instance. So if we wanted to replace all of them, you can use stir replace all, and that will do every single match will then be replaced instead of only the first one. So if we run that, we'll see the same thing as above, except this second deep will also have been converted. So let's run that, and we can see that that second instance of the match was also turned into our replacement. That covers the basics of how to do string subsetting and replacement using the string R library. In the final lesson in this mini-series, we're going to go into some different convenience functions available in the string R package for viewing strings. So see you next time.